it's really quite something that aphasia affects more than over 2 million people in the U United States. And it's actually more common than Parkinson's disease, cerebral palsy, and uh, muscular dystrophy uh, combined. And yet hardly anyone knows what it is. That's Dr. Carol Persaud, director of the University of Michigan's aphasia program. The loss of language with aphasia can take different forms. Some people are unable to speak fluently. Others may be able to speak fluently, but the words don't make sense. And still others are unable to comprehend what's being said. So just think of one day that you wake up and no longer can say I love you to your husband or wife or read a bedtime story to your child. That's what often will happen in aphasia. What's really important to understand is that aphasia is a loss of language. It's not a loss of intellect. And yet many people will view that person with aphasia as being stupid, um, of having intellectual impairment, and are treated very differently. And it's extremely frustrating. They know what they want to say, they know what they want to do, but they really just can't communicate that to us.